Hello everybody, my name is Dan Serlinjack. I'm a realtor right here in South Florida and today I'm gonna give you a tour of my hometown, Coral Springs, Florida, and I'm gonna do it right now. So it has been quite a while since I've uploaded a video to YouTube, partially because the market here in South Florida is still very active and partially because I've spent the last 30 days producing an Instagram video series called My 30 Favorite Places in Coral Springs in 30 Days. Coral Springs is a lovely and diverse South Florida community with amazing parks, restaurants, entertainment and people so for my first video back well actually this is going to be my first three videos back i'm going to post my 30 favorite places in coral springs right here on the youtube platform so my first video is going to be days one through ten the second video will cover days 11 through 20 and my third video that i post here will cover days 21 through 30. So I hope that you enjoy and I hope that you learn some wonderful things about my home community, Coral Springs, Florida. Let's get started. How's it going everybody? It's Dan Serlinjack and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna do my 30 favorite places in Coral Springs in 30 days. Today we're at the Atlantic Trailhead. You get here by taking Atlantic Boulevard all the way west until you hit this. If you do the whole trail, it's close to 30 miles if you're here to bicycle or hike, but most people come just to watch the beautiful sunsets that they have here. In addition to the hiking and the biking and the sunsets, you can also come here and see unbelievable wildlife like snakes, birds, fish, and alligators. Nice catch. They've also recently added a new parking area to give residents a much easier access to the trailhead. Hey buddy, this is Dan Serlinjack and today is day number two of my 30 favorite places in Coral Springs in 30 days. And today we're at Cypress Park at the Pickleball Courts. And Cypress Park is located just north of Atlantic Boulevard on Coral Springs Drive and the courts here are brand new. Pickleball is a super fun racket sport that incorporates elements of tennis, badminton, ping pong. And all you need to participate is a cheap racket, a ball which is very similar to a wiffle ball, and a net. Pickleball can also be enjoyed by all ages and all skill levels. So if you're looking for a fun, easily accessible new sport, head over to Cypress Park and give Pickleball a try today. Hello everybody, my name is Dan Serlinjack and I'm a realtor right here in Coral Springs with EXP Realty and today is day three of my 30 favorite places in Coral Springs in 30 days and today, I'm at Coral Springs' favorite ice cream parlor, Cherry Smash. Cherry Smash offers the most incredible hand-dipped ice cream in South Florida. Plus, they've got some truly incredible antiques and memorabilia inside. Let's go check it out. The Sundays here at Cherry Smash are incredible. Our favorites are the Birthday Explosion and Cherry Smash. Today, we went with Cookie Monster Sunday. Cherry Smash is a wonderful place. If you're looking for some fun and flavor for the whole family, come on down and give Cherry Smash a try sometime soon. You won't be disappointed. Hello everybody, my name is Dan Serlinjack. I'm a realtor right here in Coral Springs, Florida, and today is day four 
of my 30 favorite places in Coral Springs in 30 days. And today we are at Three Friends Park. Let's go check it out. Three Friends Park is a big giant hill and up top they've got some benches that you can sit on. It's something really unique for this area. So we are at the top of the hill now. We're in the alpine regions of Coral Springs. As you can see, got a beautiful view all around us. So you're probably wondering where did this hill come from? Turns out it was landfill from some of the lakes and the canals in the area. They piled it up here. And now the people of Coral Springs get to enjoy this beautiful park. Hello everybody, my name is Dan Serlinjack. I'm a realtor right here in Coral Springs, Florida. And today, I'm at the Panthers Ice Den. The Panthers Ice Den offers hockey and figure skating for all skill levels and ages. On the hockey side, you've got the Panthers NHL team that uses the den as their training facility. You also have Mako's Travel Hockey, a youth travel team. There's also lots of opportunity for training and competition for our figure skaters out there as well. There's not a cooler place to come during the sizzling hot summer months than the Panthers Point Bar and Grill. It's a great place to come for food and drinks to beat that hot summer heat. If you're looking for a gym at the Panthers Ice Den, they even have a gym that includes adult boot camps. My man AC is going to get you covered. I got you covered. My name is Dan Serlinjack and I'm a realtor right here in Coral Springs, Florida. And today I'm at the Coral Springs RC track. They've got a dirt track and they've got an asphalt track. So here in the RC racing world, they use two types of cars. They use a battery powered car that most people know of. They also use a nitro powered car that goes much faster and gives off a nice throttle sound. These racers really love to hear. RC cars are a fantastic hobby. They also tell me that you can get a top car for less than $250. I was hoping we were going to get some actual racing in today, but the racers tell me today is just practice. But if you're looking for something fun and interesting to do, come on out to the Coral Springs RC track. I think you'll have a great day. Hello, everybody. My name is Dan Serlinjack. I'm a realtor right here in Coral Springs, Florida. And today I continue to roll through my 30 favorite places in Coral Springs in 30 days. And today I'm at the Coral Springs Aquatic Complex. The Coral Springs Aquatic Complex is a world renowned venue and home to competition both nationally and internationally in swimming, water polo, synchronized swimming, and diving. So here at the complex, you're gonna find a competition pool. You're gonna find a diving well. There's another training pool back this way. They've got a gym, a pro shop, and a lot more. So I've got to say that swimming is excellent exercise because it's low impact and you use a large percentage of your muscles in your body when swimming. And here at the Coral Springs Aquatic Complex, they tell me that they train babies all the way up to Olympic athletes. So if you're looking for a great activity for your friends, yourself, or the kids, head down to the Aquatic Complex today. They've got an activity for everybody. Hello everybody, my name is Dan Serlinjack and I am a realtor right here in Coral Springs, Florida. And today I'm at the site of what will become known as Cornerstone right here in Coral Springs. So just a couple short weeks ago, developers demolished Coral Springs Financial Plaza to make way for a brand new redevelopment project called Cornerstone. 
So if you don't know where the Financial Center was, it's right on the corner of Sample Road and University Drive, right here in the heart of Coral Springs. You'll find a new era of sophisticated urban living downtown Coral Springs with the Cornerstone Project. You should expect office space, bars, restaurants, boutique shops. They're even gonna have a movie theater and a boutique hotel right here in downtown Coral Springs. It's gonna be a wonderful project. It's gonna do great things for Coral Springs. Be on the lookout should complete sometime mid-2022. Hello everybody, my name is Dan Serlinjack and I'm a realtor right here in Coral Springs, Florida. And today is day nine of my 30 favorite places in Coral Springs. Today, I'm at the Walk of Coral Springs. At the moment, the walk is the ultimate in Coral Springs dining, shopping, and entertainment. And the walk stretches all along University Drive right here in Coral Springs. It's a spot you don't want to miss. In addition to the incredible dining and shopping options that they have here, places like Trader Joe's, they also offer a host of professional services as well, like medical services, hair and nails, and dry cleaning services. Something else you might find some interest in is the yearly arts and crafts festivals that they have here at The Walk, like the Coral Springs Crafts Fair and Winter Wonderland. These are events that you do not want to miss. So if you're looking for a great meal or some quick fun and entertainment, come on down to the Coral Springs Walk. They've got something for everybody. You'll be glad you did. Hello everybody, my name is Dan Serlinjack and I am a realtor right here in Coral Springs, Florida. And today is day 10 of my 30 favorite places in Coral Springs in 30 days. And today, I'm at the Art Walk of Coral Springs. So I'm currently on the westernmost end of the Art Walk. Please join me on a stroll down the walk and let's take a look at some of these beautiful sculptures. The first installment that we have here is an abstract piece of art by Kevin Barnett called Union One. And this piece really has got a beautiful color, brings a very unique quality to the city and to the art walk. The next piece on the walk is called Ascent by an artist named Jan Lewin. This thing is really neat. It lights up at night, so it's best seen at night. But during the day, the color changes as you circle around the work. All right, next up is an infinity glass sculpture by Zachary Knudsen. This is the one you see from University Drive. University Drive is right here. You can clearly see this beautiful sculpture from University Drive. It's at the top of the Art Walk. I must say it is a beautiful day for walking here in Coral Springs on the Art Walk. It's just a beautiful day, a nice breeze blowing, end of May, perfection. So the Art Walk isn't the only place in Coral Springs where you can find sculpture. There's actually 41 different sculptures very similar to the ones that we saw on the Art Walk. I'm currently in front of City Hall just hanging out with this guy, trying to make sure he doesn't have a great fall. The city of Coral Springs also sponsors some great events centered around the Art Walk. One of them is called Arttoberfest. It's a spinoff of Oktoberfest. They've got some great local breweries like Funky Buddha, live music. It's a great time. I hope to see you guys at one of those events soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned some wonderful things about my home community, Coral Springs. I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.